Hi, this is Ken Kaplan from the New England Motorcycle Museum, and I have what quite possibly may be one of one, the only one left. This is a brand new, fresh out of the crate, 90th anniversary Harley Davidson XLH 1200 Sportster. This is the 90th anniversary vehicle number 1340, which is kind of a unique number. Out of 1993, they made less than 2,000 of these. Most of them are ridden into the ground. This one was bought by a Harley collector who um, uh, had. had this is also probably the best documented Sportster. I don't even think Harley Davidson themselves has one of these in their archives in this kind of condition with this type of documentation. This bike has had 3.3 factory miles on it and when it came to us the bike had never been started. The original battery which we have that goes with it was never connected. The, um, there was never, there's never been any fuel in the gas tank on the motorcycle. However, we did, in, in an effort to preserve the motorcycle, uh, we did go through the bike, put a brand new battery in it, we drained all the fluids out. Uh, the gas tank we did not use, we took the gas tank off, we used an auxiliary gas tank and we cleaned and serviced the original carburetor and serviced the air filter, made sure everything was 100% and put fresh, unleaded, I mean, uh, um, non-ethanol fuel, uh, VP fuel, small engine fuel through the bike started it and ran beautifully as you'd expect warmed it up changed the oil changed the, the primary chain case oil and the engine oil so all the fluids were changed brand new battery was installed again i have the original battery uh, the bike has not been ridden repeat this bike has never been ridden from the factory here's the crate that it came out of right here this is the original shipping crate that came with the bike and you can see it is in brand new condition with three miles on it quite possibly the only one in the existence. I've been all over the country, all different Harley events, and I've seen these with miles on them, but uh, never one that's brand new, nor with the documentation this one has. This bike's 100% stock original. Everything on this bike is stock. Um, it has not been modified in any way, shape, or form. The exhaust system is original, everything. So um, I'd like to go over the documentation with you next. Uh, in addition to the, to the uh, original shipping crate, which is quite a unique piece to have. I have every piece of documentation ever on this motorcycle, including the original motorcycle purchase order and the delivery action postcard. And then on February 25th of 1993, a deposit receipt. And then on March 9th of 1993, uh, a um, acceptance order from the Harley Davidson coordinator. This was a military sale to uh, uh, Phil Strissel, who is a member, still a member of the of the armed forces. Um, June 14th of 1993, they assigned the serial numbers. So I have the a serial number form. This is also the uh, payment request on June 23rd of 1993. On July 16th of 1993, it's a confirmation they changed the dates of delivery. We waited almost a year from this for this bike. On July 20th of 93, here's an actual uh, PO purchase order showing the 90, 90, uh, 90th anniversary edition silver and charcoal 1200 V twin evolution engine cast wheels, beautiful. Then we've got the let's see, this is the odometer disclosure delivery. Affidavit on August 20th of 93 when the bike finally came in and then uh, some uh, Delivery receipt and lien and affidavit on August of 93. This is the uh, sales and warranty registration and pre-delivery checklist and this is the, the uh, UPC code that came on the on the uh, and with the, the the palleted motorcycle and also some manufacturers tests sheets uh, five-speed XL gear set, gear pinion optimization program literature uh, from the, 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 the shipping crate and uh, the delivery action postcard. And that's it. Uh, I also 
Phil, in addition to saving every single piece of documentation on the motorcycle, um, he also has the, talk about a pedigree, he even kept the actual Harley-Davidson military sales envelopes with the dates on it, July 16th, which coordinates with the, the uh, and here's his order acceptance envelope. Then we've got the uh, June 19th envelope and the June 24th envelope, pretty much all, every envelope he had, I think every envelope that he had ever gotten and then some more Harley Davidson literature. In addition to that, Phil in his infinite wisdom kept the original, now this bike was displayed in his living room for, uh, let's see, that was, let's see, 1993 to 2006, is 23 years. Here's the anniversary edition. You can see it's exactly the way it originally came out of the crate. Um, a couple things uh, I'll point out on the bike uh, that uh, you're never gonna see on another motorcycle. Let me get this quick before I forget. On, on this side right here, you'll see it has the um, never removed original um, zip tie holding the, uh, the uh, blinkers on. It has the red caps on the edges, edges ends of the, of the uh, grips to protect them. Um, it has the original decals on the engine, which obviously would bake off the, if the ridden was, bike was ridden much. And it's got all the original hash marks from the factory on it. Just absolutely impeccably maintained original condition, 100% original. Um, there's a little bit of patina on some of, of the aluminum indicated by the 23 years it's existed. Uh, a little bit on the top of the, it might buff out, but we don't want to mess with the original finish. So there's a couple little spots on the aluminum that'll probably polish right out as there is on the front lower fork tube. However, uh, that's something that I'm sure uh, a detail artist uh, could, could take care of or he could have them polished uh, so, or replaced. Just wanted to point that out. The, um, the bike's 100% original. So uh, the, he, Phil also kept the um, original uh, literature from the, from the dealer. The owner's manual has never been opened, the original 1993 owner's manual. So you get the owner's manual also. Then I've got the original manufacturer's certificate of origin. Uh, motorcycle has never been registered. Um, was only taken out of the crate to display. And you can see Philip Strissel, HD Military Sales Division. Great guy. Um, then the bill of sale from Phil to us, uh, pretty much one more envelope from Long Island um, for the 90 Sports or Account Info, and then the title and tag um, work, which he never did do. Uh, he had the envelope for it, but he never he bought he bought a brand new. When he bought this bike, he also bought a 90th anniversary full dresser. So he bought this also as a long-term investment, but he never rode it and he kept it on display. In addition to the motorcycle, the motorcycle comes with the crate, it comes with all the literature, it comes with the manufacturer's certificate origin, um, all of the paperwork, everything, documentation, manuals, that all comes with it. Available separately, if you, if you buy this bike, you're probably gonna wanna buy this kit because it's got everything you could ever dream of having with an 90th anniversary Sportster. I'm gonna start with the most key point. This is a brand new, First time it's ever been out of the box is today. It was actually bolted inside of the tank and I hated to take it out of the box, but I had to show you this. Brand new 90th anniversary King tank. You could not buy this tank unless you had a 90th anniversary Sportster. This is virgin, brand new, never seen the light of the day. 90th anniversary Sportster King tank with badges. Um, it's worth well over $1,000. Um, I also have a matching peanut tank next to it there, which the, um, the peanut tank, is not brand new, but this is if you if you ever bought if you buy this bike and you want to ride it, you could put this peanut tank on it and take the mint brand new one. This is a, a used tank that had fuel in it and it's got an aftermarket gas cap on it. That tank is probably worth somewhere around four hundred dollars in the condition it's in minimum. Um, but you get an additional peanut tank, you get the original uh, brand new king size tank, and also a set of the Clasan badges, 90th anniversary, which were a protected part. You can't get these anymore. They were difficult to get originally. You had to have a title. These are worth at least $200 for the set. Um, also comes with a brand new, never used uh, Harley Davidson um, gunfighter uh, saddle. It's not a solo saddle, it has a pillion on the back. This is about a $300, $350 part, brand new. And also, I have a brand new Chrome Sportster uh, XL swing arm, fits 1990 and later. Um, again, brand new, never used, just took it out of the box. 
Uh, also, a set of matching, brand new, never used, in the bell helmet box, quality bell helmet, large 90th anniversary helmet, and large and extra large. So the two helmets come with this kit. Uh, and I also have a, a 90th anniversary backrest, brand new. I just took it out of the box today for the first time. Um, the uh, Over here, you, uh, there's a brand new, never used, 90th anniversary Harley Davidson mug with the, the gold logos on it. Um, I have the uh, I have the um, 90th anniversary celebrating 90 years of pride in our American heritage and the motorcycles we produce badge. Um, I would have loved to keep all this stuff for the museum, but you may have been following us on social media or online, and we're about a half a million dollars short on finishing a five million dollar museum restoration project. We have to take a zoom around the room here. This is the main showroom of the New England Motorcycle Museum. Uh, it's a football field long and uh, we've spent three years restoring this building and millions of dollars, there's four floors here, and we need the money, so we have to sell the bike. So I hate, uh, you know, if someone wants to buy it and donate it to the museum, that'd be great, but hopefully it'll go to another museum. This is a very limited production. Uh, they only made 75 of these. This is number three out of 75. It's a limited edition. Harley Davidson says, for 90 years, the proud tradition of an American legend. Really cool. Makes the hair stands up on my arms. There's only 75 of these in the world, and it weighs about a pound. I don't know what it's made out of, but it's certainly brass or something, and I think it's gold-plated, but I'm not sure. I think it's 24 karat gold. That was a Batman. Uh, also comes with a gold-plated 90th anniversary keychain uh, for the bike that you could put on there. And also, this is a pocket watch. Uh, this is worth uh, quite a bit of money, too. It's a 90th anniversary, never been out of the box uh, pocket watch and chain. So those are all the accessories. Uh, wholesale prices on the items, the helmets are worth about 300 each. The, the backrest pads are worth about 200. The limited dealer uh, belt buckle, keychain, pin, new in box is at least, at least $200. Gas tank emblems, minimum 200. This, this uh, um, king size tank, brand new, is at least a grand. And the peanut tank is 400. So if you add it all up, that's over $3,000 individually priced. I'm going to offer this set up to whoever buys the motorcycle for $2,500 and that includes everything. Um, we're going to auction this stuff off separately after the motorcycle sold. If the buyer who buys the bike doesn't wish to get the whole kit, um, if you have any questions, give me a call 860-454-7024. My name is Ken, either myself or Jason or my son Kenny would be glad to help you. Um, it's once in a lifetime opportunity to buy a brand new 20, almost 20, well, it's almost 25 years old. Uh, it's 2023, 20, soon to be 24. Uh, this time next year, it'll be coming up on 25 years, brand new Harley. So, hope it goes to a great home. If you want to leave it on display in the museum, our, our small showroom's been open for a couple of years. I'd be proud to display this as long as you'd wish to keep it here. Uh, we'd be honored to have it. It's a fantastic motorcycle. Again, we started it, it runs beautifully. Uh, after the motorcycle was started, all the gas was drained out of the carburetor and the carburetor was fogged with a, uh, uh, a uh, Marvel Mystery Oil type uh, um, potion that, that my lead technician has. It's a big Marvel Mystery Oil and WD-40. He spray, spritzes it in there, keeps the, the surfaces from rusting. The cylinder, uh, both cylinders, the spark plugs were taken off and the cylinders were coated with Marvel Mystery Oil so that the engine's perfect. Again, this gas tank has, has never, never had fluid in it ever. Uh, when we, when we, when we, uh, it still has the yellow paint in it from the factory. So when we, when we uh, started this bike, it was on an auxiliary tank. I, I, I think I, I'm pretty sure I covered most of it, mostly everything. This is the most best documented Harley we've ever had at the museum. I've never gotten one with quite the level of detail that Phil had on on the documentation, and uh, the bike's in beautiful condition. Um, Phil's a great guy. Uh, we bought this and a couple of antique um, uh, dirt bikes from him too. He had some antique dirt bikes and uh, he, uh, he just bought a brand new Sportster and he's getting up there in years and his wife wanted to downsize so he sold it to us and uh, we wish we, we could keep it. But uh, let me point out one other thing on this side right here. Take a look at this. This is something you're not going to see on a, any other 93 anywhere. Uh, maybe at the Harley Davidson Museum. Maybe someone from the Harley Davidson Museum will see this bike and want to buy it. That'd be fantastic. Uh, I'd love to see it back in, back in its, uh, its element at the, at, the, at the, it belongs in a museum. However, if you want to ride it, as you know, a regular stock 1200 Sportster today 
is going to run you around eleven, twelve thousand dollars out the door. Um, this one has a reasonable reserve that uh, I think uh, you know someone could buy this bike and ride it, or, or, or put it on display in the museum. It's really up to you, but it's a fantastic ride. If you have any questions about it, give me a call. 860-454-7024. All proceeds from the sale are going to fund the New England Motorcycle Museum. Uh, we'll help you with the shipping. Uh, no problem with that. We'll set you up with good shipping, or you can come pick it up if you'd like. And like I said, you're welcome to leave it here on the display as long as you wish. So good luck bidding on it, and God bless.